R&D team deserve all the credit for getting Vail created and to market. They started on the project about six and a half years before it launched. It launched in 2009 and quickly became the number one curing light in the dental marketplace. I think there are slim to no chance of actually finding this thing. They're gonna find it in the desert. I think that we'll be in Vegas, on the top of the Paris Hotel. Which it is, it's, it's about 12,000 feet in oh. the middle of the Uintas. <laughs> it's right next to the second highest peak in Utah. It's oh, like my way gosh. in the wilderness and, and so inaccessible right now. The, uh, the story of the meeting turns to, okay, we will retrieve we it. We have, we have some dilemmas. I've been on the phone with the National Park Service. <laughs> that area is at 120% of snowpack and oh. is completely under snow. It actually has up to a certain point where you have to stop. That's the thing, is yeah. That's why you have to snowmobile in 15 miles and then hike in 10 miles. Starting on the trail. Uh, everything looks pretty good. The horses are good. We're all packed up. Probably the most difficult part so far was just trying to mount the horse for each of us. Um, not that limber at 11 o'clock. So we'll see how it goes. So this is my horse. His name's Lady Davenport. If there was any river, if there was any puddle, if there was ever anything, should charge right into it, no problem. This here is uh, Lady Ray. She was a little trooper. She uh, was a little skittish in the mornings, but once we got through a few water crossings, she wouldn't hesitate at all, huh, Lady Ray? Huh? But we just we just nestle, we snuggle a little bit, and uh, she's uh, she was just great. So this is Helaman. He's a two-year-old. Probably hasn't done a lot of trail riding. Uh, we found that out early. He had a hard time uh, crossing the, the even the mud puddles. Uh, if there was a log in the trail, he did not like it at all. He did like to follow, so I was always behind everybody else. Day two, uh, we survived, which is survived the night. The, the the first goal, and we're hitting the trail early. It's it's oh dark thirty six a.m. and uh, we're gonna go. The goal is to go find this right now, 
That's, that's how, how excited that's how we are. how good we're feeling right now. Okay, so this right here is where we came from. We hiked about 10 miles in. We spent the night up at Dead Horse Pass, and we think the Velo is over at Red Knob Pass. So we're gonna trek over about a mile, and we're gonna see if we can find this thing. Now, if you cross-reference this with another map that I'm gonna show you, which is the pinging from the GPS detector, you can see that this stream kind of comes along and points right at where it is, and that's this stream right here. We're also gonna fly the drone uh, and see if we can get a visual by air. Sight. All right, we found it. We have a missing velo though. Oh, that's a huge. And now, really? now the search continues for the missing velo, which used to occupy right here. It was a rough, it was a rough morning. We we found the payload. We did not recover the velo, but just for that. I knew I was gonna miss you. So I think if we went back, we could almost look even higher than where we were I, and have a better chance I, at it. Yeah, I, I think we gotta go back one more time. We should give it a try. Retrieval trip number two. 
So we decided that uh, we really needed to find this thing. Uh, we'll give it a second to go. On foot this time, no horses. Uh, still the same distance. Uh, and our hopes is that we come home with a, with a working Velo. We'll see how that works. We are traversing across to this point of impact. We've already come up from the valley below. That is where the impact site was. And so we're actually gonna go over there and look at it. We're about 12,000 feet elevation. Just, we just got visual. Dan Fisher's signature is staring right at me. Yes! Oh, awesome! <laughs> from its resting point, <laughs> on the side of a mountain, the Velo dropped from space. <laughs> Battery like this? Yeah. There we go. Oh, it's a little Lights indicating what mode it's in. I'm gonna just put it into high power right there. Whoa! 